Oh, uh, you, you gotta do. give him that hook. Hello and welcome. What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. In this one, I'm gonna be watching and reacting to the video of myself catching my first ever double digit largemouth bass. 10 pounds, 12 ounces, the biggest bass of my life. And I thought it would be cool to sit down, go over the video, watch it, break it down. I wanna to talk to you guys about bed fishing in general. I wanna tell you about the gear, the equipment, and the techniques that I used to catch this fish. And I just wanna relive the moment right here with you guys on the channel, my first ever reaction video, reacting to me catching my first ever DD. But before we get into it, please go down below, hit that subscribe button, help us color in these last few bars here on the subscriber board. We're almost to 100,000, but we can't do it without you. Thank you guys for the support. All right, now before we get into actually watching and reacting to the video, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about bed fishing and what was going on out here on this day. Now, regardless of how you feel about bed fishing, it's all good, but I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more on my thoughts, my mentality. Some people seem to think that bed fishing is just super easy and it's cheating. I sort of equate it to the whole forward facing sonar situation. And that may be sort of true when it comes to plucking off little like fry garters and male bass, super aggressive, smaller fish. But when it comes to catching giants off of beds, in my experience, and I've been doing this for several years now, it's a whole different ball game. It's just not the same. It is not easy. These fish are super smart, even when they're on beds, even when they're super aggressive, even when they're locked up, everything still has to go perfectly right in order for you to get these fish into the boat. I can't tell you guys how much footage I cut out. So many hours, days and days spent on the water, hunting fish, finding giant fish, fishing for giant fish when things just didn't go our way. Finicky fish, smart fish, fish that refuse to eat, work a fish forever, waste four hours, leave a fish, come back to a fish, make mistakes, get a fish to eat. Everything seems to be right. Swing on a fish, giant, for whatever reason, she just comes off. There are so many things that can go wrong and that can keep one of those giant, I'm talking about like, you know, once you get up into that eight, nine, 10 plus pound fish range, it's just a whole different ball game. It is not easy. And that is my experience. Uh, a lot of work goes into catching the larger fish. If it's un, if we don't think it's potentially an eight plus pounder, we don't even stop. If we want to just go around and pluck off bed fish and catch a ton of fish, yeah, we could do that. Uh, but generally, unless it's, a potential giant we're not even making one single cast to those fish fish like you're gonna watch me catch in this video it is not easy it took a lot of work the fish are well taken care of quick photo quick weight measurement right back in the water right back to the bed every single time so that's my thoughts on bed fishing some people think it's cheating and that may sort of be true when it comes to just catching fish that are garden beds, small bug bass and stuff like that. But when it comes to catching giants, totally different ball game in my experience is not the same. Shout out to my buddy, Travis, Captain Teacock's Fishing Tours on Instagram and Facebook. Without him, I would not have caught this fish. We were on his boat using his tower, the tower of power, the platform, the sight fishing platform that you see strapped up into the front of the boat. That's to give us a higher vantage point, enable us to see deeper down in the water. Some of these fish, they spawn in like eight, 10, 12, 15 feet of water. Fish don't always spawn up super shallow. And these big fish oftentimes are spawning out deeper and you need every advantage that you can get. The tower provides a great advantage, four foot of added height for us to stand up on top of in the front of the boat and try to help us see these giant fish that we were hunting. In addition to that, another piece of crucial gear that you have to have without a doubt polarized sunglasses and when it comes to sight fishing or just fishing in general a good pair of polarized sunglasses is crucial my lens of choice when i'm out on the water hands down without a doubt and i've tried them all waterlands these are the asher frames with the green mirrored lenses these are polycarbonate but they have a style and a color for everybody. They have blue mirrored lenses and they even have smoke gray lenses. They also have other options, the honey, the gold. They have a lens color and a frame style for everybody, but a good quality pair of polarized lenses would have been impossible to catch this fish without them. We're watching the bait. We're keeping an eye on exactly what is going on down there on the bed. And regardless of what people 
will say and will tell you you do not want to catch the male. If you're fishing for the big female, you do not want to accidentally catch that male. You do not want to catch them on purpose and throw them in the lava well. That's not the move. So you need to be able to see what's going on in the bed. Make sure you don't catch the male and be able to see when the female bites so you know when to swing. And just to be able to cut glare, protect your eyes, see into the water in general, a good pair of quality polarized lenses. Water lands, hands down the best that I have ever used. I could not have caught this fish of a lifetime without my Waterland sunglasses. Asher frames with the green mirrored lenses are the ones that I find myself using the most. If you are a offshore guy fishing clear blue water, you want the blue lenses. And for those hazy, cloudy, overcast, even rainy days, you're gonna wanna grab yourself a pair of the smoke gray lenses. Check out some of the other lens color options as well. I've tried them all, haven't found a pair that I don't like. They even have these bed fishers right here, designed specifically for sight fishing. Total coverage, block out all the light, wide field of view to enable you to find that dragon. But the ones that I find myself coming back to the most, the ones that I find work best for me, are the Ashers with the green mirrored lenses in most conditions. I wore the Hybro frames for the longest time. These are the ones I started out on. Absolutely love the Hybros. So if those are more your style, Waterland has you covered there. These right here, these are the Millikens. So there's a style. They got camo frames, all kinds of really awesome frame styles. They got the straight up black. They also have glass lenses, prescriptions. Waterland setting it off the best polarized lenses that I've personally ever used. Check them out, waterlandco.com. JR15 for 15% off your entire order. Waterland already prices their sunglasses extremely competitively. So once you tack on that 15% discount, you're gonna get a great price. You're gonna get a great product. I never go out on the water without my water lens. I never leave the house without my water lens. They are, you know, like the American Express card. Don't leave home without them. Waterlandco.com, JR15, check them out. Would not have caught this fish without my water lens. In addition to that, let's talk fishing gear. Promise we're gonna start the reaction portion of this video very soon, but I just wanna to talk to you guys about the gear really quick because it's important. This is the Heater Series, seven foot, eight inch, extra heavy, fast action, swim bait special. I found that this rod right here works great for catching giant largemouth bass off of beds. Fast action, a lot of backbone. This thing is a meat stick. Works great for throwing the swim baits. I got a Corrado 200 on here, 7.4 to one, 20 pound fluorocarbon. And that was it. Now, when it comes to baits, got a big old screw lock. I've got one red glass bead. I've got a half ounce tungsten pitch black bullet weight from Sixth Sense and a peg X peg stopper. And the bait that I was throwing to catch virtually every giant largemouth bass that I caught this season during the spawn, the sweep. This is the new super sweep 5.3, but we were throwing the original OG bone colored six inch six cents sweep the baddest bed fishing soft plastic swim bait on the planet i've seen so many giant fish eat this bait i've had so many giant fish eat this bait for me and this right here is this exact setup the exact rig that caught me my pb my 10 pound 12 ounce largemouth bass Tuck that hook away, big heavy weight up front, get that bait to fall nose down into the bed. Bright white color, so you can keep an eye on it down there in that deep water on those deep beds with those big deep dragons. And that was it, dude. The Tower of Power, my Waterlands, my Heater Series swim bait special with the sweep tied on. Boom, double dragon. Let's check it out. If you guys missed the original upload, the best bed fishing video of 2024. It's here on the channel. You should probably go check that out. This right here was day eight of filming. We actually filmed for a whole lot more than eight days, but we only caught giant fish on eight of the days. So that's what ended up getting included in the video. This was day eight, the very end of the mission. You know, this was the last fish of the season. And uh, this was just epic. So as you can see, right. we're set up here on the end of this dock. There's a little boat ramp on the other side of the dock. I'm climbing up on top of the tower. There's a leaf blower. Always something in the background, dude, with the leaf blower right there by our bed, just doing yard work. What are you gonna do? 
you know, if you can see the wide of the belly. Working there, working there. The bed's right there off the end of that boat ramp. T Gog always coaching me. Now, if you look in the background, you can see there's a dude standing up on the dock. He's two docks down, upper deck of the dock, and he's just standing there watching. Oh, something got it. Something had it. Look at her. That's her. So you see her swimming there. She picked up the bait. You can see the side of the fish. She's swimming sideways. We're about to swing on her. Jerk. Oh, jerked it away from her, bro. I think she dropped she spit, it. She spit it before yeah. I could swing. So we missed her. <laughs> she bit, dude. What's that? He said, that boy slipped you. <laughs> We're fixing the catcher here in just a second. So we're fixing the catcher here in just a second. I love that. That's just awesome. We're fixing the catcher here in just a second. Teacock letting the people know we're fixing the catcher. Yeah. This fish was a giant. I can't even tell you how big this fish looked in the water. So big. I figured you'd see her roll down there. I just saw her turn sideways. She's sideways. She's on it. She got She's it. Got it. Fish on. Wow. It was about right here that I knew. It was about right here. This is when I knew, okay. This is this could be it. This I'd caught so many sevens, eights, nines, nine plus, nine and a half pound bass. I felt like somehow about right here I knew man, this might be the one. That's a giant. That's a giant, bro. That's an absolute giant, bro. Guess what? And about right here, that's when I knew for, for sure. As soon as I saw that fish in the net, I knew we did it. Guess what? Bro, <laughs> that's an absolute giant. That is an absolute giant look at that fish look at that sweep hanging out of that fish's mouth can't even see me just freaking tank awesome awesome fish of a lifetime fish of two lifetimes most men will never hold a fish like that amazing that is what we're after yes it is <laughs> that is a freak dude that is an absolute freak. Let's get her on the scales right now. Bro, Teacock, Teacock, look at this. The hook just came out of her mouth. It was just dangling. There was, the hook point wasn't in her at all. Definitely wasn't down to the barb. I didn't even hook the fish. I drug the fish to the boat. Insane. The bait just came right off, floated out of her mouth. I have no idea how that fish got in the boat, but I'm so grateful that she did. Hey. Dude, look at the look at this dude. <laughs> that is a freak, bro. <clears throat> the moment that I know it, right here. <laughs> Ten pounds, twelve ounces. This was the moment that I knew for sure that I had done it. I had caught a double-digit largemouth bass, beating my previous two-time personal best of nine pounds eight ounces. I had caught a nine-pound eight-ounce bass twice before trying to do this. To see that ten twelve come up on those scales, it's an indescribable feeling. 10 pounds, <laughs> 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 12 ounces. <laughs> 10 pounds, 12 ounces. 10 pounds, 12 ounces. Oh boy, said, how big? He was stoked. You're gonna hear him holler at his, at his, uh, his wife here in a minute. They both start carrying on. They were stoked for us, that was awesome. Tower of power, 10 pounds, 12 ounces. It hasn't quite set in, but you're gonna watch it set in here. The biggest bass of my life, when I realize I finally did it, it hits me here in a second. But this moment right here is pretty cool. 
He said 10 pounds, 12 ounces. And his, his wife or his lady said, a bass? And he said, big mouth bass. Love it. <laughs> That's a monster. He said, we fixed a catcher here in just a second. <laughs> Look at that fish. Teacock called it. We're fixing a catcher here in just a second. Gotta have that positive mentality. Awesome. All right, we gotta put her in the live well. Had to put her in the live well for just a second to get the braid out so that we could get measurements on this fish so that I can get a replica mount made. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see the replica mount. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> finally did it. <laughs> Dude, all right. <laughs> I know how you're feeling. <laughs> it's starting to set in now. Like, it's starting to hit me. I finally did it. I've been working for forever for that fish. Everybody's, you know, dream, ultimate dream, catch a double digit largemouth bass. And not only did I, did I do it, I did it in Texas, you know, my favorite state. I did it on um, a lake that doesn't just constantly churn out double digit bass. I did it with my friend. I didn't do it with a guide. I didn't do it by paying somebody. I didn't do it. Um, I didn't, it, I didn't, it wasn't handed to me. It didn't come easy. I fished for this fish for years. If you've been following along here on the channel, then you've seen the Tower of Power missions from years past where we have caught some incredible dragons, including, but not limited to, my previous PB, the nine pound, eight ounce. So we caught a ton of big fish past few years doing this, but no tens for me. Missed, swung on and missed multiple tens, but no 10 for me until this one. 10 pounds, 12 ounces. My first double digit bass. We have been working for this fish for weeks on end, days, countless hours spent on the water if you want to get technical it's been years me and this man me and teacock have been out here trying to get this done it's what our third year doing this yeah. third or fourth year doing this third full year and had a couple chances before to get it done and just it wasn't our time today it was our time we left this fish for an hour or two to go hunt for other ones we had already fished for this fish I've got the footage. I'm going to post it to the members only section of the channel. If you want to become a heater army member, check out the top link down below in the video description and you'll gain access to videos that the general public doesn't have access to. But I'm going to post the raw and uncut footage of how, how long it actually took to catch this fish. We fished for her for a long time earlier in the day, left her, caught other giants, then came back to her and finally got her to eat. But it was a lot of work that went into that fish, way more than what you saw in this video. You know, YouTube, you got to chop it up, keep it interesting for the people. So you just saw the highlights. Came back. And she ate. Woo! Bro, Teacock said we're fixing a catcher. Six cents fishing sweep. The hook was not even, the hook point wasn't even, t it was just hanging. I don't know how that fish got in the boat, dude. Blew my mind the way that hook just came off that fish. I don't know how that fish got in the boat. Six cents fishing, sweet bone pearl, heater series, seven, eight, extra heavy fast. Mission accomplished, double dragon. Me and my boy Teacock out here, bro. Wouldn't I have caught the fish without Teacock, the Tower of Power, my Waterlands, or my six cents fishing rods and baits. Sixcentsfishing.com, JR10 for the win. Secure the heater, save the bread, support the movement at the same time. Thank you guys so much for the JR10 love, the JR10 army relentless love you guys thank you it's you that enables me to keep doing this i would not be able to make videos for you if it wasn't for you guys using that code so thank you i appreciate you much love tower of power power of Reunion power tour 2024 we finally did it bro i'm so it, I'm full on i'm amped right now dude 10 pounds well we got her measured we got her weighed we got photos we got we're gonna let her go right back to her bed 10 12. Now we about to let her swim off. There you go. 
Teacock, my bro. Freaking personal best, <laughs> double dragon right there. Biggest fish of my lifetime. I'm stoked. All right, girl, thank you so much for eating for us. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate you. Off you go. Swam away strong, too. Bro, <laughs> 10, 12. Words can't describe. I I've been fishing for that fish my whole life. Shout out to my bro, Teacock. Would not have caught that fish without him. Shout out to Teacock. You guys hit him up. One of the best anglers I've ever known. Best sight fisherman in the state of Texas. Unreal. 10, 12. We did it, bro. Stop. Congrats, dude. <laughs> Woo, Teacock said we're about to catch her here in just a second. That was so gnarly. That was so gnarly. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, watching me catch my first ever double digit largemouth bass. A little quick breakdown for you guys. Talk to you about the baits and the gear that I was using. And just give you some little extra thoughts on the moment. Do my first ever reaction video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to help the channel grow, you can subscribe, hit the like button, help more people find the video. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now and I will see you on the next one.